the main pool area. You don't want to be here. Because we're going to search on Carnival's website, looking at their deck plan, and we're going to go over what is some of their best and worst staterooms. So we're going to take a look at Carnival Celebration. Let's get over to their website right now. I already have the, uh, the map pulled up. Okay, so we're going to take a look at their deck plan. Get a little bit bigger there. And so we're on their website. And right here you can already see. Let's get a little bit bigger. Right in here is their, uh, the main areas. So we have, I'm trying to get it a little bit bigger here. I want you guys to really be able to see this. Okay, so you got Celebration Central here. Okay, so the Celebration Center, Central, and you'll see here there's a center stage. So, center stage, what does that mean? That means productions, shows, loud music. Okay, so if you got all that going on, you probably do not want to be in these state rooms right here. You probably don't want to be in these state rooms. So right about here is where you're not going to want to be. However, over here, it's probably a good spot to be. These are balcony rooms. Uh, these are interiors, interior state rooms, and these are interior state rooms as well. So you probably, I probably even wouldn't, I, w I definitely wouldn't do these. Because look at these. These are, can we get a little bit bigger? You see these state rooms? These state rooms are right behind these other people's state rooms. So I feel like, you not only got the noise from your neighbors next door, then you got noise from the people right behind you. And then also this little area, it's right above this. I mean, it's right below. It's right below this. So you got all that noise and stuff going on there. Now I'm sure they've probably done a little bit of soundproofing to the best of their ability, but this can still get pretty loud. However, over here, you're a little further away. So you're right below Java Blue Cafe. You're right below Cherry on Top. There's not really a lot going to be going on, especially as far as noise in this little area. So right about here is not too bad. This area also, this area is pretty close to, um, you're closer because the lower decks, you're closer to disembarkation to go out on the to shore on your uh, port days. So these staterooms right here are not too bad. These actually will probably be pretty good staterooms because also if you notice here, you have um, Camp Ocean, Dr. Seuss Bookville, Family Harbor Lounge, and that's just one deck down. And so these can be really good for like, of course, like families, people that are traveling with smaller children and they kind of want to be able to hop into Camp Ocean for the younger kids and Dr. Seuss Bookville, that'll be pretty good. You're just one deck um, below that. But then also stand here, you're just um, you're just one deck above that. But also right here, you would be one deck below being able to access this pretty quickly. So you can access the piano bar, uh, tropical bar, the comedy club. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit further to show the comedy club. See here, this is the Punchline or Comedy Club right here. So if you're staying in these deck rooms here, these state rooms here, you're close to all the action. Plus, you're also midship. So the thing about being midship is if you're kind of uh, someone who gets seasick easily or you're a first time cruiser, being midship is the best place for your cabin, um, your state room to be. So in here, you're still midship and then you're still close to a lot of the amenities. Let's see what else you're close to here. You're also gonna be close to the fun shops, the gateway, just uh, it looks like a bunch of bars and stuff like that. Oh, you're also gonna be close to uh, 
one of the main dining rooms. So Carnival Restaurant, that's the main dining room there too. So that's like, if you wanna have like brunch on sea days or for dinner, stuff like that, which is the meals that are included in your cruise fare, you're right close to there. And then um, you have Emerald's Bistro, that's a extra fee, but that's a nice little restaurant there. And then Carnival Kitchen is where they show you how to prepare different chef's meals and things like that. There's a fee for that, but you're you're close to that as well. Then you're you're also one deck below the festival restaurant, which is the main dining room. So sea days for brunch, main dining for the evening, included meals, you're one deck below that. So this right here, this area can be either the worst, which would be, I feel, I feel some, it depends on your tolerance level too, guys. So my criticisms and stuff here are not like blanket that applies to everyone. It depends on your tolerance level and what you're interested in. But for me, I definitely probably wouldn't do these. And for me, I probably wouldn't do these stay rooms. However, um, these would be pretty good, really good for like families and stuff like that. And if you want to be able to have quick access to shopping, some of the specialty dining and the main dining, you're right one deck below. Then you're also close to the disembarkation area. So that's pretty good there. So, <clears throat> I mean, of course these staterooms aren't bad either. You're still, you're once again, close to disembarkation. You're only two decks away from this, this action. And you're also close to the, the family, um, the little family amenities here. So not too bad. And then also, if you notice with these staterooms here, you're not close to elevator and a bunch of traffic. <coughs> See, these here are the elevators and stairs. And so these staterooms here, that's a bunch of traffic coming through there. But right in about here, not so much traffic. All right, so, all right. Then also, we can go ahead and zoom out a little bit. You have the casino, another deck up. This is deck, this will be deck seven here, the Empress Casino. Um, Alchemy Bar, Limelight Lounge. That's, I think that's gonna be um, kind of like their club scene there. So you're still close to that sort of thing. And Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse is there. So still, these state rooms can be on um, deck five. That could be a really good deck to pick so that you, or especially if you're midship, so that you're close to some of the amenities, but you're still close to disembarkation if you choose. So let's zoom out and let's go ahead and show you some other things. So here we got deck eight, deck nine, and deck 10. So I wanna show you something important about deck nine here. So, <coughs> Here we got midship. Well, hold on a second, no, not yet. About here is midship. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can make sure. Yeah, let's zoom back in. So about here is midship. And wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, that was right, about there is midship right around the little hump, this little hump area that's midship. So deck nine, if you notice here, you have Havana bar, you have Chebang, that's a specialty restaurant. That bar could possibly get a little noisy. So you have to be a little cognizant of that. And then you also have the pool area. So if you notice right in here, these staterooms can probably be a little noisy. So that is staterooms. Right through here. And you have elevators and stairs. I would probably say 
these could probably be considered the worst staterooms because you're way too close to too much noise. You have a bar, you have a pool, you have elevators, you have stairs. So you have a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic and noise, noise coming from here. Now, not so much on this side. Um, these staterooms, not so much because you have just Chimane, which is a specialty restaurant, but it's also, I think like for lunchtime, it's uh, included in your cruise fare. But right about here, mm -mm. that's a lot. That's a whole bar with more likely live music throughout the day. Um, live music or even just maybe, yeah, I think more likely live mu music. And then you have a bar or pool area, which is going to be a little noisy. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't do these. I probably wouldn't do these. Um, but on the flip side, if you go over a deck up to deck 10, you, you're just above other, other staterooms. You still have a little bit of traffic through here, especially if you're in these rooms right here. I mean, people coming off the stairs and the elevator and they going directly into your room. You see these rooms? Let me make sure y'all can see that. You see this 10228 and 10229 people coming off the elevator just like they dang near just walking right into your room i don't i don't know if i want those rooms and then that's the same way here on deck nine like that's a lot of traffic i i probably would not go for that i'd be like here or here or something if i had to pick those rooms um pick that deck in that area but again it's midship which you want to do midship if you are um, if you're a new cruiser or if you're prone to getting seasick. Um, and I am a little bit, it depends, and it depends on the roughness of the waters. It depends on, um, it, and also, also, it honestly also depends on how big the ship is overall because a lot of times the bigger the ship the less likely you are to kind of feel the waves and things like that so and this is a pretty big ship so you may not have too many problems with that so this i want to show you this is deck 11 and this is where you get to where it's just mostly staterooms so that's a pretty good choice there for a decrease in noise but we're going to show what you become even closer to so Deck of the 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh no. 11, 12, yeah, 14. There's no deck 13. <laughs> There's no deck 13. So deck of 11, 12, 14, 15. And, um, and then here around 15, you get closer to the pool. So I wanna show you something here about this right here, deck 15. Let's get into it. And you see the pool is right next to it. Oh. 15. Look at this, guys. So here's your midship, which is nice, 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 nice. But you are right below. The main pool area you don't want to be here <clears throat> if you are let's put it like this if you're a light sleeper if you're a light sleeper you probably don't want to be here because in the mornings or even if they have like a their sail away parties or just some of the parties that they do tend to have on carnival cruise ships it's known as the fun ship so they do have they kick it. I'll be honest, they kick it. I like Carnival. So if you're in these rooms, um, you're more likely going to hear all the noise up there. And then if people are moving around deck chairs and things like that, sometimes early in the morning, they're in there cleaning up. And so they may, may be moving these chairs around and you're right below all that in here. You're right below all of that. <clears throat> see something here yeah so Lido deck and then here's like the main this is the uh, the main 
not the main restaurant, but the buffet area. So you got a bunch of traffic, probably a, a bunch of talking and noise like that. So, and some a lot of times I think breakfast, the buffet starts around like seven, I think, like seven in the morning. And so if you try to sleep in a little bit, cause you've been at the casino all night, you was at shore the day before kicking it, having a blast, and you just trying to get a little bit of rest because you've been doing too much. Um, you might not, you might, you might. What's wrong with me talking today? You might not want to be woke up early because you have street eats, you got a bunch of traffic there. You know, what I mean, people just coming up here eat, chilling out in the pool, which is nothing wrong with that. But if you think you might be the kind of person that's a light sleeper, or you want to sleep in, you're not, you're not an early riser you might not want these these rooms here and then once again right here these could be considered also some of the worst rooms because you uh, and i'm going to get into what i think is some of the best rooms we're not just going to talk about the worst rooms but right here you got once again you got people coming right off the elevator and more than likely your bed and stuff like that is going to be probably right in here People are gonna be coming off the elevator, coming off the stairs, walking right through here. So these rooms, and then these rooms, people walking right into your area. That's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot going on when you got the pool area here. <clears throat> now, on the flip side, <clears throat> you could pick something like this. Now here, this is where we're gonna get in some of the best rooms. So once again, we're midship. These are midship, your deck 14. Only thing you got below and above you is other staterooms. Less noise, great option. And then some of these are, some, these like these are extended balconies too. So these are cute. So um, nice extended balcony. So these might be some of the nicer staterooms. And then you got interior if you wanna pay a little less. And you're not, a, you're not near elevator or stair traffic. You're behind that so these might be some really good rooms here and the reason why I say that also is that you know you're only you're in you're between your sandwich between other staterooms but then you're not too far you're just two decks away two floors away from all the action here's the pool here's the uh, buffet street eats seafood shack you're right near that and then you go up another deck, either stairs or elevator, you know, and sometimes the elevators are really, really busy. So if you just got like just two decks to walk up to, to get to your food, that's amazing. So for me, I think this is one of the best staterooms in this area that you can pick. And so let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what else is over here. So like I said, deck 14, you got the buffet with the Lido deck and the pool. You still got all that. Then if you have some older kids and you want to get them into Club 02, Club 02 or Circle C, that's right there. But then also over here, you have the ultimate playground. of a waterworks so that deck 14 in the midship there that those might be the best state rooms because you're to all the if especially if you're if you got like a family you got like kids that are like 17 like 11 to 17 you're near the pool you're near the buffet where they can pick their own food so they don't have to be like well i gotta sit down at a restaurant and eat whatever that's available on the menu. They can pick a variety of different things to eat. They're still near near the um the pool. And then you're still near some adult beverages yourself. And then you got Guy's Burger Joint here. Like I said, Circle C, Club 02. What that is, is for kids, if you got kids, I think like 11 to like 17, you can take them here and they can get kind of looked after. <laughs> A lot of time, and the thing about the good thing about that is the kids won't feel like they're being in like they're in daycare. They'll feel like they're in their own little group or cohorts of people their age, and they make really good friends. My son made some really good friends um, being in. I think he was 
I think he was club old too when he went. And so, yeah, like they'll have a blast. They're near food, they're near fun, they're near their friends, they're near, and this is giving you a break too. And these are some things for you as an adult. You got uh, Shaq's Big Chicken there on deck uh, 16. And then here you got the ultimate playground. And so you got the sports court, court ropes course, the, um, what's it called? The roller coaster. The roller coaster's not too far, Bolt. The roller coaster's on deck 19 right there. You got the water slides, you got miniature golf. So you're really close to, in that deck 14 area, you're away from noise, but you're still really close to all these amenities and food and the food that's included in your fare. So that's not too bad at all. I love that area. And so we'll go back to deck five while uh, mentioning um, deck five and four because you're still, there's some good state rooms there too. You're not too you're not too bad off. We're going to revisit that real quick. So deck five, these state rooms here, they're away from noise. You see there's, they're not near elevators or stairs. You're away from noise. Um, you're not right below Celebration Central. You're a little far further away. You're uh, you're right below Java Blue Cafe and Cherry on Top. But then you're also close to disembarkation for court days. <clears throat> And then you're also close to uh, family activities for your smaller children. But then also, if you like some of the specialty restaurants, you're closer to that. You're close to Emerald's Bistro, it's just one deck above. And then you have um, a steakhouse that's just one deck above you. Uh, also, if you like the casino, that's something that you really enjoy doing. You're just two decks away from the casino, the Empress Casino. So <clears throat> what do you guys think about some of these that I came up with and uh, my opinions? What do you guys think about my opinions and on the best and state, the best and worst state rooms? Are these some of the, does this sound about right to you? Or do you kind of think some of my opinions are, are skewed a little bit in the wrong direction? Um, but all in all, it all depends on what's, important to you do you want to be closer to food um do you want to be closer to disembarkation for your port days because you got a lot of important excursions scheduled which with that's the case you want to be deck four deck five um do you have would you like to be close to the pool and the bar and the buffet then you're like more like deck 14 deck 15 if you really don't care too much about noise you you're early riser it's all good to you um and even if you're not early riser you sleep pretty good you sleep pretty hard so all that noise won't bother you let me know what you guys think thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video and um if you like this type of content please give me a like if you love this type of content please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be put on to my newest and latest videos when they come out. Until next time, bye-bye for now.